Ready? Go. So here we are at the EPS office. EPS, of course, is one of the Surface custom software companies. So we have our Surface unit here. Before we show you the Surface stuff, however, I want to explain something else. First of all, EPS is not just a custom software shop, but we also publish Code Magazine, as a lot of people probably know. And with Code Magazine, we have a desktop application based on WPF called Zine, uh, X-I-I-N-E. And Zine is a digital reading platform that's open, so it's not just for Code Magazine, but of course we use it for Code Magazine. Let me open up my Zine here a little bit. So here it is. So this, for instance, is a collection of Code Focus magazines, which is uh, special issues of Code Magazine. And I could drill into that and find my articles and go in here and read Code Magazine digitally at a very high quality uh, and I can customize the way this looks so I can say no I like bigger fonts and uh, everything adjusts and automatically shows itself in two columns now for instance and I can go ahead and look at code and I can look at images and zoom in on images and move them in 3D and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so this is a pretty cool desktop application. One of the things it does is it manages your whole library. So when you have Zine on one computer, you can interact with your library. You can then go to a different workstation, just download Zine, very small install, goes in you know, five seconds, you're up and running, and it opens up your whole library on a different computer. So that's Zine on the desktop, and now we've gone and we've actually created a very, very early, very first prototype of scene for the surface. So let me just fire up our development version and this is like I said very very early and now here it is appearing on the surface device. I have all my same focus issues here. You can start interacting with this, look at the table of contents, move things around, zoom in and out. Now like I said this is very very early stuff. A lot of the artwork is just placeholder art. And the performance isn't exactly where we want it to be, but that's how early prototypes often are. Let me try if I can zoom in on this a little bit better. It's not cooperating. Let's take a different one. There it is. Let's open it up. Uh, now we can look at the table of contents. This is all placeholder art, right? So um, don't pay too much attention to the art here. And I can go in and I can pick one of the articles. And now I open it several times, but doesn't matter. Here's the article now rendered just like on Windows with all the same fidelity that we had in Windows. So I have the ability to change the font to whatever I like. Zoom in so maybe we can even read it here. So same fidelity of rendering. I also have the ability to read multiple things at once. So for instance, I can make this smaller now, move it over here to my side of the table at the same time. Claudio over there can start interacting with uh, another magazine and start reading it. Right? So very rich interaction model that we have here. And so also the social aspect. right? So you can imagine this in a bookstore where multiple people just check out books mm -hmm. and so forth. Now one other thing that I want to show you is I have an ID tag here. This ID tag identifies myself. So I can just put that down on the table, and the table reads the tag. And now it identified me, it said, hey, you're Marcus Egger, there you go, here's your entire library of stuff. So for instance, I have a book in here, well, let's zoom in on that a little bit. Open it up. Let's go into this chapter of the book, All right, so here's my chapter on click one security you can change the font size again See if we can get this to render in two columns here we go you can go back and forth to different pages of the same document so here for instance we have a nice layout mm -hmm. professional layout including footnotes as you'll see that we have in this uh, layout format if I change the font the footnote, of course, has to move, and it's still professionally laid out within the within the book. So it's very, very high quality layout that we've been able to achieve here in this very early prototype of Zine for the surface.